Well, when I think of Julia Roberts, of course, immediately into my head comes Pretty Woman, the movie that really made her a superstar. I was just reading a book, in fact, about how she got chosen to play that part, how she wasn't on anybody's list, and they saw her in Mystic Pete's, and that really impressed the producer, Arnon Milchen, uh, who had hired Gary Marshall, and they both agreed to put her in the film. Now, since then, Julia Roberts is probably the highest paid female actress in Hollywood. She's become that way, even though she's made a series of movies that really haven't done that well, uh, and movies that have been pretty well hyped, the most recent one being Mirror, Mirror, which is the first of two Snow White movies released this year. Then we have... Um, Eat, Pray, Love, which was a very big book and got a lot of hype. I didn't even know that they were selling Eat, Pray, Love stuff on QVC until somebody told me. Um, she was in a movie with Fireflies in the title that went direct to video. Um, and, you know, since her Oscar win in Erin Brockovich, her career has been mostly on the downswing, I would say. She's been in some good movies like Duplicity, but nobody went to see it. Um, and she's been in some real tankers like Full Frontal, which Steven Soderbergh directed, the same guy that did Aaron Brockovich, which to me was horrendous. Uh, her career's been up and down, yet she's still considered type A, uh, type A actress, getting a lot of money, and she's in two really big, high, highly prestigious productions coming out one being August Osage County opposite Merle Streep and the other if it ever gets made The Normal Heart based on Larry Kramer's uh, prize winning story about the uh, about AIDS and AIDS researchers. So uh, Julia Roberts she was America's sweetheart she was in a movie called America's Sweethearts uh, if Sandra Bullock is America's sweetheart is she still America's sweetheart? Is she America's Sweetheart Emeritus? I don't know, but I absolutely have to think that she is overrated these days. Um, I, frankly, I think she's always of late playing herself since Erin Brockovich. She can't seem to remove herself from the persona that the public has paid to see in the past. And despite doing some good work that has not been recognized and people have not gone to see, she hasn't impressed me since Erin Brockovich. So I'd say she's really overrated. Mm -hmm.